Welcome to the Accessibility Guy channel. Today we're doing episode two of making college PDFs accessible. For episode two, let's take a look at Oxnard College. I'm going to use the search feature from the main website and let's do what we did last time and just simply search for .pdf. Now I'm hesitant to look at the college catalog because I don't have it in me to make that whole thing accessible. It's probably ginormous, but I guess let's just take a look at it. So the 2021, 2020, 22 document. Let's go ahead and download it and let's review it. The first thing that I like to do is open up the tags panel. Floating head is always in the way. And what do we have in here? We have some section tags. Also, this is a 362 page document. Uh, and it appears that only the first and second page are tagged. Let's go ahead and run the accessibility checker on this document. And we're going to go to the accessibility check and run a scan on this. And it appears we do not have a tagged PDF. So this 362 page document is not accessible. This is too big of a file for me to work on though for this video. So let's go back and let's see if we can find another PDF to work on. That was just the very first link that I looked at. Let's take a look at Oxnard College raises pride flag and we can go ahead and download the PDF for the press release. Here's a nice easy one. Let's download it. Let's open up the file and open up the tags panel. So this looks a little better. Um, from an accessibility perspective, there's at least some tags in there. Let's go ahead and run the accessibility checker on this document. We're going to select prepare for accessibility, accessibility check, and hit start checking. And there's just a couple of errors. But what I noticed from the tags panel is there's not any uh, headings in here. And so we would want to add some of that content in. Uh, so I'm going to do exactly what I did before, which is let's run the auto tag for this file as it's going to do a lot of the headings heavy lifting for me. Hey, and this time it put in a document tag, which is nice. Some section tags. We have a heading level one. We have a heading level two, some P tags with references and links. That's a great start. And a list element followed by a heading level two P tag heading level two. This is great. Um, so the auto tagger really knocked this out of the park. There's not even a whole lot more I would add to this. Uh, let's go ahead and select the menu button and select document properties. And the title is in here and the author would be Oxnard College. We'll go ahead and copy the title into the subject and keywords field and select OK. Now let's go ahead and run that accessibility checker one more time. Uh, looks like we have tagged annotations failed. I'm going to right click it and show in content panel. I actually can't even find where this link is. So let's go backwards. We've got Twitter, LinkedIn, Instagram, Facebook, Oxnard College. OK, and then we've got the two on page one. So this appears to just be an extra link annotation. Let's show in the tags panel. All right, it's not there. Let's go ahead and just delete it. I have a feeling this is going to create a problem, though. All right, it won't let me delete that link out. So what we'll do instead is go back to the tags panel. Let's select the little uh, options button in the tags panel, select fine, and we're going to look for unmarked annotations and search the document. And I don't even know where it's found this content. Oh, maybe it's down there and select tag. Let's name it as artifact close. And again, there's still I don't know where this link is referencing to. Um, so it's definitely a pesky link that I can't seem to delete. And we have the artifact tag in here. I guess I'm just going to cut this and paste it into uh, one of these section tags. It's not really going to have an effect on anything because it's not tied to anything. Uh, let's go ahead and run the accessibility checker one more time. And we now have a passing uh, accessible doc. So this is just one example of making a file accessible. Let's go ahead and save it out and we can drop it into the pack tool. Go ahead and drop it into the pack tool. Oh, and here we go. Now we've got some problems. Interesting. All right, let's check these out. We've got font content. So we need to embed our fonts. What's up with this content text object not tag? Hmm, this is all in page two. All right, let's check out what's happening. Um, I thought that that content was tagged. Oh, that must be where the other link text is then. All right, well, we found something to fix. So let's right click the P tag, select new tag, and I'm going to create a P tag and I'm going to select that P tag. Oh yeah, this whole thing's a big old hyperlink. Let's go ahead and select all of that content and we're going to create tag from selection. And it looks like almost got it all. We 
still need the email and the phone number. So I'm gonna highlight it and then create tag from selection. Sometimes you just gotta do stuff over and over. And then let's create an H3 tag for that header and we'll move media content under there. That's fine, we've got our H3. That email still does not wanna be tagged though. Let's right click, create another blank P tag. Let's see if we can force it again. Select the P tag where you want this content to go. I'm gonna highlight it, select the options button and then select create tag from selection. All right, now I'm gonna go find that other annotation that I was messing earlier. Mm, I just don't know where I put it. It was a blank object reference, I know that. All right, so I'm gonna collapse the document tag, hold the control key and expand the entire thing so that I can find that link objr and i'm just doing a visual scan of the tags panel to try to find it it's in here some or somehow it was deleted out let's go ahead and run the accessibility checker one more time now we've got a tagged content failed this is always fun uh let's go down into this p tag we're gonna select the options button in the tags panel and select find and we're going to use the drop down menu to do unmarked content search document find Ooh, there's an x object image let's skip that for now you know what? We're just going to tag it. We're going to tag all this stuff. Hmm. Path objects too. How interesting. It's crazy to me how fast this file sort of got out of hand. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to select all of this random junk that it picked up. And we're going to right click and select change tag to artifact. Page fully document is still okay. Let's go ahead and save it. Run the accessibility checker from Adobe Acrobat once more. All right. Now we've got it passing in Acrobat. That's a good start. Let's go back to the pack tool. See if we can't finish up. All right. We still need to embed the fonts. We've got a structure element failed. Nesting link annotation is not nested inside of a link structure. What? Let's um play around here. I'm going to right click the P tag, select new tag and write the word link. And we're going to embed that inside of the P tag. So now we have the email followed by the link followed by the P tag. Let's go ahead and fix that embedded fonts issue. Um, to do that, we're going to select the tools option, use print production, select pre flight, we're going to select the single wrench, single fix wrench icon. Uh, and then we're going to type in font and then embed missing fonts fix. Perfect. All right, let's save this file and let's test the pack tool again. The goal here is to get rid of some of these errors. All right, we're down to fonts, structure elements. We're getting closer. Nesting of link annotation. There's definitely something wrong with that link. Um, I have a feeling it has to do with that object reference that I can't. Let's expand this out. And we'll just go through each one of these. Not that one, that one. Nope. This is also the one that wasn't showing up in the panel earlier. Oh, not that one. No. All right, here's the other thing we can do. Um, I'm just taking it a guess. We're gonna right click and delete the link and we're gonna do it again, right click. So the link is still in there somehow. Let's try to add it in again. Um, we're gonna try to select this text, right click and select create link. We don't want a visible rectangle. We want an invisible rectangle, open a web page, and we're going to type this in mail to colon. And we're just going to retype that email address very carefully. Oh, there's three C's and select. Okay. So now we have the link object reference in there. So that's good. Let's save the file, run the accessibility checker again from within Adobe because you never know what happens in here. Start checking and okay, everything looks good in Adobe. Let's launch the pack tool. Hopefully that structure element is gone. That's the big thing that I want gone. And it is, and we're down to the final two things, alternate descriptions and metadata. I know how to fix these. So we're gonna open up the print production tool and then go to pre-flight. And on the single item fix wrench icon thing, uh, we're gonna type in annotation and we're gonna use this option, create content entry for link annotations and select fix, save the file. Perfect. We're going to close that out. We're going to go back into pre-flight because now we need to set the PDF UA identifier. Uh, I like to just type UA, set PDF UA one entry, select fix, save the file. Um, I'm actually going to give this a better file name, I think also. All right, one last thing. Let's open up the menu button and select properties, document properties. All right, perfect. And we already did this, so never mind. And let's test the file one more time in our pack, in our pack checker. Boom, we got it. Well, that simple two page document turned into quite a battle. If you stuck with me all the way to the end, please take a moment to hit that like and subscribe button. As always, I can be your personal accessibility expert. Thank you for joining me today and I'll see you next time.